learned about this geological phenomena in high school in geography class and I had been dying to see it ever since that day, that class, and it took 25 years for me to get there. Hi there, culture eaters! How are you doing today? I hope again that you're having a fabulous day wherever you are. And we are back today for another Travel Talk Tuesday. This week's topic is what is one of the most interesting thing you have ever seen in your very own country? I think that's a really awesome question because as uh, travelers and YouTubers that mostly do videos about traveling, we usually do so many videos of other places in the world that we go to and we never really think a whole lot about the country that we live in and there's so much to discover in your own country that it's really important to go out and do that as well. Me living in Canada, I have a lot of options. It's a big country. And until two years ago, I had not been in the Maritimes and it was a lifelong dream for me to go do a road trip in the Maritimes. And that is what I did with my friend Sandra in the year 2015. And that is going to be my choice for the most interesting thing that I have seen in my country so far. I literally waited 25 years to see this attraction. I learned about this geological phenomena in high school in geography class and I had been dying to see it ever since that day that class and it took 25 years for me to get there what I am talking about is the Bay of Fundy which is known as having the highest low to high tide ratios in the entire world we specifically went to the Hopewell rocks visitation spot they are also known as the flower pot rocks because they resemble flower pots a little bit with the greenery on top of the rocks. And there the tide is measured to go up and down 10 to 14 meters twice a day. The average low tide, high tide difference around the world, just an average, but is usually around one meter. So that is a 10 to 14 times higher tide level than everywhere else on the planet. We made sure to go to see both the low tide and high tide on the same day. They occur approximately every 6 hours and 13 minutes. Of course it varies by certain temperature elements, geology elements, and the moon cycle. At low tide there is about a span of two kilometers that you can actually walk the ocean floor. It's an absolutely unique experience and you see these rock formations that you saw like little islands earlier floating are now standing perched on these rocks that are slowly eroding with time. It's absolutely magnificent. I will show you now a picture that's a combination of both low tide and high tide so you can see the difference. And I will show you, of course, some more pictures that we've taken that day, some beautiful pictures, rock formations. You will see one where my friend Sandra is standing at the opening of a cave. And the next shot is a picture taken from inside the cave out. It's just absolutely amazing. The tides are very much influenced by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. That's what causes the tides. There are about a hundred billion liters of water coming in and out several times a day in the Fundy Bay. It's amazing to see nature at work so powerful like that. It's an incredible sight to see. So make sure that if you have a chance and you are in the Maritimes in New Brunswick, go check out Hopewell Rocks. It's really, really worth it. And geology and the planet is always at work. In 2015, one of the biggest formations, the Elephant Rock, actually collapsed. They estimate that 100 to 200 tons of rock collapsed. So it's constantly evolving and changing. So if you want to make sure that you see it in this lifetime, don't hesitate and plan to go. I am putting a link below to the tide levels as well. If you do go, always make sure to check the tide levels for that specific day. 
So that's it for today's Travel Talk Tuesday. I hope you really enjoyed the subject. Make sure to check out the links below to the fellow travel YouTubers that are participating, and there will also be a link to the playlist. And before you go, make sure that you like this video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos to come and leave comments. I love to hear from you guys. Tell me what's the most amazing attraction that you have seen in your own country. Until then, I will see you soon with a new video. Mwah! Take care.